Billboard Music Awards, Billboard Charts, they came out and said that the artist of the decade of the 2010s, wow, uh, we're, we're fucking old, <laughs> is Drake. And that caused a stir just because, you know, it's Drake and people at this point seem to either love him or hate him, which is natural. But some things I wanted to list off here. In that span, Drake had nine number one albums, 45 top 10 singles, and he either had a song or was on a song in the Hot 100 232 times. That's twice a month for a year, for 10 years straight. Think of that. <laughs> That's fucking nuts. Yeah. I think, you know, your particular style or like what your taste is for music, I can understand why you might not think Drake is the artist of the decade, but I'm having a hard time thinking of who would, because Kendrick didn't do it for 10 years. D Damn no, came been, out three, three years ago. Three yeah, years he, ago. He, yeah, he he had a great peak, but he didn't sustain it for ten years. No. Drake's two hundred and thirty-two top Hot One Hundred songs. I bet the only person who has more than that is Lil Wayne because he just featured more. I and I bet Drake might have even have surpassed him now. Let me look that up. When anyone, you... yeah, I was gonna say, oh, in ten years, that's a lot. Because I was going to say, even like if you wanted to go someone else, you'd be like, okay, maybe Taylor Swift. She doesn't have that many. She's not featuring everywhere. She's not into her own music. One thing here, just to give it some perspective, Taylor Swift has the most among any woman of all time, and she has 113. So less than all half time. of all time. He ha He's leg and shoulder, like... Whatever the <laughs> leg and shoulders, leg and shoulders. <laughs> head and sh <laughs> oh man, it has been a long month off and a long weekend in New York City. Leg and shoulders, baby. Um, okay, so Jake, I'd say uh, like the Jake. only person, yeah, the only person who could keep up with that number, I'd say, is like DJ Khaled because yeah. he's producing and he's not on them. I there's no way we're finding someone who's done that. Um, Kendrick did voice his he didn't voice it he tweeted about Drake and his uh, I guess displeasure by the emoji choice he used like you said Kendrick was almost there but Drake in the past year how many albums has he released two plus an EP in the last decade no in the last oh oh you mean <laughs> Drake like year like a few months yeah Drake hasn't stopped like and that's this year but in general, like, it's hard to argue with that choice unless you want just pure streaming numbers. But even then, I bet you, if you took everything, he's through the roof. Like, it's not even close. Definitely. I know the most streamed song they said was "The Baby" with Rockstar, which has over a billion streams just on Spotify. But even that probably doesn't come close to anything that Drake's done. Oh, no. Not in aggregately, if you're counting like yeah. in what everything was that was released. Yeah, so I mean, even if he did that once a year for 10 years, right. maybe he's not touching what Drake's done. It's just pretty incredible. And I mean, even if it's not your particular taste of music, you got to like at least respect the results. And there's going to be a lot of people who say, this isn't hip hop, this is pop, R&B. Billboard doesn't care. You know, it's not the rap artist of the decade, it's the artist. So they'd be. They considered him more than Taylor Swift, Ed Sheeran, um, and Maroon it is 5, different I guess. Than, it's different than the Grammys. It's not as political yeah. and hidden. They have numbers to back this up. This isn't like the Grammys. You can get rap record of the year and never even hit top 100 on Billboard. They've got numbers to back it up. It's kind of crazy. And what's crazier about it is the next decade, that artist is probably – already pretty well known like we could probably start to take some guesses at who it would be for the next decade because you're not going to catch up if someone came out in 2014 they weren't catching drake mm, he had four years point. on them so if someone's yeah, coming up point. this year next year they're not probably catching up to some people like drake again of the decades odd because you think about it it's a 10-year block and it doesn't move so it's not like every year they're doing a new of the decade right uh, yeah, that's right, the right. only way you'd have a chance to kind of catch up but it is an accomplishment 
nonetheless.